chance for me to go to a place that I really, really love and to do something that, you know, over the years of, of racing kind of convinced myself that I was made to do. I spent a lot of my childhood in New Hampshire and my dad lived up here. Uh, he died in March 2008, so kind of midway through my career. The thing that we always had together was he would ask me how my races went or how they were. I may not be in the best possible shape, but I'm definitely not gonna squander the chance to, to ride up this thing. I didn't know what I was getting into at all. It's really hard to get consistent traction, and the road is just a mess. I realized we were in for a little bit of trouble. We're really struggling with traction. We're going from six PSI in the rear, eight in the front, knocking it down to like four. It's not a lot of pressure, but it's really hard to keep going. Dropping the pressure lets that tire get a little bit more friction, and studs get to bite into the ice a little better. Next turn is going to just be dead ahead. I'm going to be suffering if we have any traction at all. I can't stay up. Scott, I'm going to have a hard time, man. No traction. It's getting cold, boys. Come on, baby. Warm up. My temperature's dropping. I'm listening to my heart rate just pound in my own ears. When it gets really cold, then it's really easy to think about, I could just slow down and I could just not, I could just not do this, I could just stop, I could just pull over here for a while and hang out. When I see a fat bike or when I ride a fat bike with people who have never seen one or ridden one, they look at the bike like it's crazy. They look at you like you're nuts for riding it. It's not a normal looking bike. It's kind of a trigger. It's opening doors for bikes in different ways. He brought me to every Mount Washington hill climb that I did. I never really got to share the times in the racing, but we always talked about the racing. And Mount Washington is just like, I don't know, it's just another, another reason, another chance. Having a hard time talking, that's for sure. There are only so many chances you get to, to do something for someone else. That makes it worth it. I mean, I thought about that a lot today. So knowing that it's right up his alley, he would have loved it. It makes it pretty, it makes it pretty special and it's not just pedaling, you know? I mean, this is like an incredible place to, to hang out and, and to get up here any way you can get up here. I just got a chance to get up here a different way. We're not supposed to be riding bikes up here, that's for sure. It's pretty fun.